What's up you guys? Welcome to the adventurous vlog. Start the morning off right. <laughs> the truck like me is pretty chilly. All my tires on my truck look insanely low. I have to check them. I know, I know. That's what I get for having used tires. But come on, they were free. I love free stuff. I checked all my tires. All the pressures are a little low. The tires are supposed to max out at 50 PSI. I currently have about 41 in each tire. But that's good for what I'm about to do. If you guys didn't see yesterday's vlog, you're definitely going to want to watch that. This video will make a lot more sense if you watch that first. I just want to say that I'm about to do the dumbest thing that I've ever done with my truck, ever. You'll see. Hey, um, I, I was uh, gonna go back to see that car, but there's a, a Ford 150 that has a cap on it. Do you know who that is? Yeah, he's just hunting. He's hunting. He's hunting? Cool, thanks. Yep. All right, bye. Well, as you guys know, we blew up a car last night. You didn't actually see it exploding because it was dark and uh, for some reason, the first five shots that actually hit the target didn't make the target explode, which sucked. The one shot after the camera stopped is when the thing exploded. That's how it always works. That's how it always works. So now I'm gonna go check it out myself. I'm taking my truck. The clip at the end of the video where it actually shows the car annihilated, that's what I'm about to go see. It's kind of tricky talking for the past and the future. That, that's tricky. When you're making YouTube videos, that's gotta be the trickiest part. This is what I mean by doing the dumbest thing ever. And this isn't nothing yet. There was a hunter back there. He asked me what I was doing. I just told him I gotta go check something out. I actually told him that I gotta go look at a car and he asked what we did to the car and I'm like, ah, I don't know what they did to the car. I'm just going back there and checking it out. I'm just listening to instructions. But he was at his truck, he wasn't, he's not out back hunting. I don't think any deer are gonna be back here today anyways, considering what happened last night. Uh, this is where it's gonna get hairy, very hairy. I am currently putting it in four-wheel drive for the very first time since I've owned it. This thing is definitely a black top princess. Man, is it muddy. Oh man, this is a stupid decision. Brand-used tires work amazing. I'm very impressed with my brand-used tires. They handle this like nothing. I can see the car. I made it to the car. I see what 22 pounds of Tannerite did to a vehicle. It blew a hole right in the back end. Yeah, this is why this is one of my dumber decisions. We still gotta get all the way back. It's just caked. Never been off the road, just caked. This is a heavy truck, man. Super heavy. Now I hope we can get out. Momentum is our friend. Very big friend in this situation. Always respect your vehicles. They last a lot longer that way. Sometimes it's difficult to listen to my own advice. Sometimes it's just fun.
the hunter can see that I had fun. Now comes the fun part. When you get out of the mud and you go down the road and mud just starts flinging, I gotta get my GoPros. Last night, the guys got cake. <laughs> Look at this, just for the shot. World's muddiest GoPros. Now is when you hear all the mud start flying, all the paint start scratching. Goodbye, brand new unscratched hood. Put in two-wheel drive, don't forget that. I hope that doesn't speed up the rusting process. But I had to check out the car. Okay, we had enough fun and games, we had enough off-roading, now I have to get back to work. But before I go back to work, we have to get this thing washed. I think it's way too dirty to just go ahead and put it in my front yard and just start pressure washing it. This truck is huge, there's a lot of mud, we're going down to the local car wash. But it's not an automatic one. I actually have to get out of the truck and spray it and stuff. It'll be neat though. Maybe this will be the way I want to do things from now on. If the convenient factor is up and the money factor is up. If it takes like $50, then no, it's not that practical. But if it's convenient and cheap, then we'll stick to it. First time ever in one of these things. To wash the truck at least. This is actually probably going to take a while. I better turn off my truck. Look at how nice and clean the concrete is. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice and clean, nice and polished. And then we bring in this heap. I'm about to pay for my problems. One quarter at a time. <laughs> that machine didn't like me. This one likes me. Washing instructions. I better read this. High pressure rinse, that's what we want. Eight quarters. Spot free rinse? I have no idea what I'm doing. There we go, that's just water. Why is it so weak? There we go. Now we're in business. I'm six bucks deep into this wash so far and it's not clean at all. So I got the driver's side done pretty good. It's not washed, it's just rinsed. The hood's decent, the grill looks pretty good, the bumper, not that good. And then you can see as we go back, it just slowly gets worse. Look at the exhaust pipe. That's a lot of mud on the exhaust pipe. Six bucks in. I think I'm gonna go home. I don't have any more singles. Go home, get some more singles, come back. Finish her up, and then I'll go home and wash it. World's most expensive car wash. Round two, we made it back. I'm totally rethinking it this time. I came a little bit more prepared. Not only did I bring my nice orange gloves, I brought a whole bunch of quarters. And check this out. They got mat holders. That's perfect. Do they have a shoe shiner too? I could use one of them. That's awesome. Are any of the other mats dirty? Oh, that one was a little bit. I guess we could wash it. The Duramax might soon be offended. I busted out the Power Stroke. Duramax is Chevy's diesel. Power Stroke's Ford's diesel. So we got two competitor name brands here. I don't think this is really made by Ford though, so. That's just the name of the pressure washer. I'm gonna do an oil change. This is my nice pressure washer. I haven't got this one out in a while. I didn't get any action this whole year. Now, not only am I breaking this pressure washer out because I haven't used it that much, and you know, this is a big project, and I think this one will work better, but it's also got a soap dispenser. So in theory, when I hook this hose up to this little knob right here, it should suck soapy water. I think this is actually the original hose, so we'll try it. Yep, it's the same size. The only thing is, is you have to put the soapy nozzle on, and this isn't very high pressured. So let's say it does work. If it does work, then I'm gonna have fun. And this is gonna make it a lot easier. If not, we're just gonna have to do it by hand like we usually do. Like I usually do. I try to make it sound like I've washed this truck before. I've only washed this truck one time. It's like glue. So far, the conveniency factor of the car wash definitely spokes this. Like it's already taken me 15 minutes to set up shop. So far, not good. 
the nozzle was clogged. I cleaned it. Hopefully that fixes it. Okay, I think I finally rinsed it after spending $12 at the car wash. Spending probably a good 25 minutes rinsing it off. I think we're gonna try to fill this up with some water and see if that washer spigot works. I have to admit, this thing didn't really want to start, but after it started and ran, she did her job quite well. You don't believe me? I got proof. I got evidence. Look at the shine on this thing. You can see me. That's crazy. That thing looks hot. That thing's on fire. This girl is on fire. You know it's really strange? When you go to clean up something, you have another thing to clean up. Illuminati. So now I gotta clean up all my stuff. <laughs> 